All right, so um, I'm up to start now. So guys, from last year, I'm going to try to avoid this, um, this topic. Yo, it's like, I'm going to set out for do this many, many times, guys. Like, I'm going to do a video. At one point, I did do a video. Um, put it up. I do a video from last year, put it up. But I never really go into certain details. Is me. So basically if you know been watching my latest videos on YouTube and that's say yo um I have a couple of videos with my daughter, is me. She been almost two weeks now. Alright. And guys, trust me, one of the happiest, happiest moments of my life. I swear like one of the most, I'm not even can find words for um, explain myself or for express myself. But trust me, guys, such a wonderful, wonderful feeling, is me. But some of you might know, some of you might not know. Um, we had a son last year, is me, so I go just talk about it. Man, I know if I get emotional or nothing in another video because trust me, every time I think about it is like you know. But anyways, alright, so um I can remember when my first final say oh my wife pregnant, isn't me? Like I don't know if I saw every man stay, but yo, me, super, super happy, guys. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. Me, yo, joy, like, whoa. But I'm that type of person where I don't really show, um, or I try not for sure emotions like that. So easy, you see me? So, um, you know, you kind of play it down. Yeah, and thing, but from a longer while, guys, everybody who know me know say yo, <coughs> I always want, I always want a son. Like, I don't know why, I just yeah, always want a son. Is me, and when we go and we do the ultrasound, guys, and yo, when the man say, when the man, when 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 the doctor say I was a boy. Trust me, guys. Now tell you, it's like my almost couldn't contain myself. Like, me feel, you know, feel the yo. Me no know. Me feel the words that come out, guys. Me have me when I tell me have to, it's like me have to hold myself, guys. Cause me no want to scream out to people in the office. You see me? <laughs> but trust me, awesome, awesome feeling, guys. You see me? I may say yes. I say, God, you're so good. Is me because you know someone and a son, and you give me a son. Is me, you're so good. Anyways, you know, as time pass, the days pass, and months leading up to time for delivery. Is me. And guys, um, I believe it was a Monday. She did have clinic the Monday, but me did that work. Um, I think I just maybe two clinic day maybe I miss guys, cause I always always um go clinic with her, is me. Um, yeah, I always go clinic with her, but that that Monday I never go, is me when they go work. All right, and. I made her work and she come from the clinic. She called me. No, you see me. She called me and she said, um, the nurse them sent her down like them say she fe go home, rest, and then go down. You see me so. I said all right. Work over. I <coughs> jump on a bus and um forward over is me 
and then we take a bus and we go up a public house. Up so we did book for all the time. Is me? Public hospital. Trust me. So anyways, after we go to the we take the bus and we go up there. Uh, reach, um, the book her and thing, admit her and thing, and me didn't know if I come home because you know what them thing they go. So I followed them, still never apply for no leave for work yet or nothing. Is it me? So the following day, um, me never wait, me never just for work or nothing. I don't know, um, if you can see the pants, yeah. but. Yeah. Um, my, my dress up in a, in a jeans pants, the same jeans pants I'm having now. Or a black shirt, is me? And I go up at the hospital early, early in the morning because I think they have a 6 o'clock visit, is me? So I wake up like from 5 o'clock, reach the hospital and thing. But the, but the visit, the short, I think from 6 to almost the same hour. 6.30, something like that, I don't really remember. You see me? So, anyways, after me go and visit her and, and thing, and see them put her in our room. I'm not even take notice of the room, but the room did mark um, Iris. You see me? But I never take notice of that the same day. You see me? So, anyways, I asked her if she good, and she said, Yeah, she good, and thing. Um, so I said, alright, can look for baby born anytime now because you know she she had me to know. So baby I got born. Yeah. Never have no doubts or anything like that. Um the only thing mother fret pan I like say yo, only what the baby born with like right amount of finger, right amount of toes. You know them little stuff, them little stuff the way web uh, you worry about when you go expect a baby. So anyways, um, I may not go down to my workplace because we can't stay up in public for the whole day, just sit down and wait for the next visiting or, or what not. So I may not go down to my workplace and it was still early. So, um, But because I never just for work and I wonder if, you know, they might go make me stay at work or I have to go home or what. But anyways, they did happen. So, they make me stay and say, all right, I have to sign in. So I sign in and they did this. So, regular work day. You see me? So, and that was the Tuesday. Um, go back in the evening after work, go visit her. And thing. The Wednesday now. Wednesday. Yeah. The Wednesday now. Um, go there. Visit her and. She said them induce her from me in the morning. I me never know all of them thing where them thing them mean or nothing, you see me? But me I say, alright, a doctor them so them know exactly what they do. You see me? So what am I to question? Whatever. You see it. So I say, alright, make them do them thing. God know what I do and doctor them know what they do. Come home the night, but when I come home the night, guys, trust me, I don't know, I have a feeling like after I come off of the bus and I walk, if I come in my house, you know, it's like I have a little feeling of, I don't know, just something, like something will go wrong. You know, some negative feeling, guys. But I play it off as nothing because I say, sure, I just my, you know, fear of, um, Anything can happen. So I just push it aside, isn't it? Come home. You know, we have to say a little prayer and thing and we do that. We say, um, well, me do that, say a little prayer and I mean I say, alright, I try to go to bed early because I always tell myself I'm longer time, say yo, if you want to leave for light, sure. just go sleep. Is it me? So if you want to for light fast, just go sleep. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I sleep out most of the time when you wake up in the morning. Alright, so I'm going to go to bed, sleep, 
I'ma get up early. It's me early, early, early. The, 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 the Thursday now, you know. This is the Thursday now, you know. Thursday morning, I'ma get up early, guys. And when did it? I'm in at the bathroom, like, yeah. And I take a shower for we, for bed, for go, um, reach a visiting time. I'm say, all right, <clears throat> she must have baby by now. Because this one way, um, them induce her and whatever, whatever. You see me? She must have baby by now. Anyway, she called me one time, yeah. Me in at the bathroom, my bed. She called me, I'm on the phone. And I answered the phone, she said, she have baby, but a C-section she get. And trust me, the feeling of relief, guys. You know, you know, you have, you, you, you did have this thing and then, you know, like a heavy burden just come off your shoulder and feel so happy and good. And then she said, she not see the baby yet. So Francis said that to me. The, 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 the burden they just come back. I mean, I say, I always tell myself, say, you see, until you have something, like have it in your hands, you don't really have it. Say so somebody promises you something and you don't have it, like for whole on to, you don't really have it. So guys, you know that excited feeling and the happiness, say, just disappear cause may I say to myself oh you should mean she not see the baby yet but then but she have baby you see me so anyways I jump on the bus um when we almost reach town now got me left from Port Moore in a guy so almost we re almost reach town I get a call and I tell her from the phone ring. I don't know. I just, I just could have tell her something wrong, guys. But anyway, I answer the phone. And she said, I go tell her. What she say? She said, I have something to tell her, but I don't want to. Like she just said, I don't want to get upset. And trust me, guys. She said she will wait till I come. And then I said, alright, by then I said, alright, she just say. Doctor then say, him not make it. Yo, at that moment in time, I just pause, guys, like, pause. And I don't know, I just, I just said, I soon come and I hang up the phone. I was all made in the bus. And meanwhile, I'm still up and away, guys. I just started praying my heart and I said, I said, God, this is not real. I said, this is scary. I said, this is not real. I said, God, 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 this is not real. I said, some form of miracle happen and you know anyways guys me reach the hospital and when me reach the hospital and see her because she get C section and thing you know she tired out and basically half asleep half awake and marks her what the doctor them say no before me reach her I see one doctor like she tell me which ward she live on. And I saw one doctor. And a young youth, young doctor. Like him in the thirties or something. <coughs> Sorry. So I said to him, if him can show me where Shamika is. And from I said the name, I see the man comes on him, put him on pan him head, like so on. When him do that, I could have tell say something wrong. I know say something wrong. You see me? And it turned out say, that he was the one who did the surgery. 
Is the miss anyways him carry me go to the bed where she there and him left. He asked me if I want some privacy or whatever and him left. But before him go, um we we'll asked for see the baby. And him said, alright, I'm gonna bring them gonna bring the baby, but them they might clean up the baby a little bit. And I'm gonna bring him. And guys Trust me, by this time I, she she start cause them take a while to bring the baby guys and by this time she start um drop asleep cause let me tell her she do C section and she tired. And me my daddy and me I said to myself say me I said God some farm America I just start praying on me out and I said some farm America we need some farm America I said, me need this me need this me need this me need this I'm mean, just depend that some form of miracle, God, please. Is me, I'm mean, just a big God, big God, big God, big God. Say, just wake him up. You know, just wake him up. Because, me, me just start praying, me say, me say, God, Lazarus did he raise him back. People in the Bible quickly make them walk. God, this is nothing for you to do. Just do it. Just do it, just do it. I just did that prayer on myself, guys. Just did that prayer and prayer, prayer, prayer. Anyways, I see one nurse come with the baby and I come with it, push him now in a little cut, <clears throat> little cut thing them where they put the newborn them, you know. And him wrap up in a uh, um, towels, one receiver. And over our receiver, I don't know where them get that from. Because I never, one of the ones that we did bring. Anyways, I see him wrap up in that time. I just look at him and, guys, I take him up. And I have him in my hand, guys, and, you know, I feel, I feel cold, like, and I say, God, you say anything we ask, yeah, I will give it. I'm gonna I'm just say, God, just, just, just touch, just touch him, just wake him, please, please, God, please. I'm gonna just sit there, guys, and me, I'm gonna say, just a touch, just a touch. I'm gonna say, God, this is nothing for you to do, because you do, you work. Countless of miracles. Just prove this, prove yourself to me right here, God. Prove yourself to me right now. I'm just start praying. I'm just start praying. I don't know. I'm just holy man. Guys, must I say, I'm now wake up and trust me. Yeah, would feel like a hole, guys. Like a, like somebody take, I don't know. It come like somebody just push there and it throw my chest and hold on for my heart and just squeeze it, so. Squeeze it. And some way, somehow, um, I find the strength for Move past that day then. Shamika did in the hospital for maybe about two weeks. And every day, guys, every day, I have to go down there like at least two times for the day or three times for the day because of how the visiting time set up. And, yo. Trust me, don't have public, but I'm mean, gonna know. Some people have good experiences down there, but. I'm not gonna say nothing, but I'm gonna mean, know. I'm gonna mean, I mean, I mean, I bash the hospital or nothing, but some of the work of them, guys. Trust me. Anyways, allow them to God, is me? So.
everything you know everything will happen guys you could uh, I try my best to like, keep myself, you know, but like every turn, like every time I have a, a little moment to myself, guys, everything just come crashing down like all the things that I never go get for do with my son, or I never go get for see him grow, or I never go get for hold him again. I yeah, feel like there was something that I could have done. I don't know. I don't know, but I just summer feel. Yo. I just summer feel, guys. And I couldn't. I don't, have, I don't know. I'm not the type of person where I will go to people and share how I feel with them and them shit. There. So I have all of this anger and this guilt and this. All of them. Words there, where you can describe a bad situation, may have it just stored up in me. And at the same time, I have to try not to break down when I'm around Shamika or nothing, because you know, I have to try. So I try to be strong for she, because I know the feeling. And the night I come home and I take out when I'm sure them or one of the shirts that were that that, that he would have wear if him did you know live I'ma put it right next to me on the bed up on the pillow and lay down and just a look on the shirt and I say I said to myself, but God, if you know, say, you're going to take him, why you never do it like before him reach a stage where a time for him coming out of the world and a time for we get for hold him? Everything just start flashback in my mind, guys. Like the times when we are watching him kicking on the belly. Yo, he, he, he was so active during the pregnancy, right up, during the, even up to the point where she got hospital. He was just so active, and I just couldn't, couldn't get what go wrong. And it's like, I don't know, I just start blame everybody, blame myself, blame God, everybody. And it get to a point, guys, where I just start show it publicly. Even when I go, even when I go work, I just me don't want to hear nothing about God. It's me. I have some um, when people talk about God, me don't want to hear nothing about God. Me I say, oh no, God not real. Me don't want to see no church. Me don't want to see nobody. It's me. Come and say, if God did real, oh, could he allow this? You see me, I'm just decide to say, oh, hit that. I don't want to hear nothing about God, I don't want to see no God, I don't want to see no church, I don't want to. Nobody tell me about prayer. You see me? I don't want to hear them something. And there were people around me, guys, where really. Um, encouraged me like or at least tried <coughs> to encourage me but trust me when them attack is that I don't hear nothing I listen, I hear it but I don't receive it then so them just attack and I say yeah man mm, but guys in myself, I say, I don't want to hear what you have to say. I don't, this can't help me. You see me? This, this not going to help me. How oh, this is going to help me? It's not going to bring back the situation. People are talking about counseling and all these things. I'm going to tell myself, say, that a, that a madness. You see me? Because 
how talking to somebody I can bring back my son. You see me? What am I going to tell myself to make me feel better? Because at the end of the day, I tell myself, say, as them finish talk, I'm going to go back to my yard and I'm buy myself again. The problem, the pain, the memories, everything I'm going to come back. So how that I'm going to help me? You see me? And this go on for months, guys. And A lot of people never know say how oh, I'm dark space. Is me? Because I just go around like blank and blank. I mean, I don't have no emotions when it comes to, to nothing. Is me? I'm just blank. So people attack. They attack to You know, like you have a blank piece of paper, nothing to write on it. That was me, guys. Blank. Is me? But I find myself. There was a song, um, Wayne Marshall and Tess and Chin and Ryan Mark sing "Glory to God." I don't know if if I, if 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 it was because it was kind of a DJ song why I made it like it, or if I God give me that song there for listen to, but. I did have my earphone and even in those times when I say, I don't want to sing a church and I don't want to sing a God. That was the song when I listened to every single day. You see me? Even though I say I don't want to me know, hear it. But no God, guys, that was the song when I listened to every day. And when I was on the bus, put in my earphone and my ears, block out the world. And I just listen to the song. You see me? Glory to God. I listen to the song every day. And then at the same time, I say I don't want to say no God and I don't want to hear no God. But that was the song. That was the song where God gave me. I listen to that song every day, every single day for months. Just put it on repeat. Every time every day when I go to work, I do a song that I play. Over and over, I just sleep with it in a maze, I wake up with it. So tell me know the song by heart, guys. Because the song just keep. I just hit all me I listen to. I don't sing it or nothing. I just play it. Because somewhere, somehow, God did I do something. Even though I never knew it at the time. But I know. No. Anyway, guys. So, some months pass, and we decide to say, "Yo, we're gonna start try again." You know, forget our next baby, because me you know when I myself say. That are the only thing where I go kind of heal my pain. And likewise, hopefully, that would have do the same for my wife, you see me? So, we decided to we'll try again. And by this time, I'm slowly, you know, getting rid of that. I don't want to hear about no God. I don't want to see no God, no God, no real. I start getting rid of the thinking there. And slowly start believing again. Start accepting again. Start trusting again. Slowly. You see me? I'm begin to start. Um, then I just let go of those negative thinking. And started to accept that God is indeed God. Isn't it? So anyway, guys, reach to the point where we say, "All right, ready for try again." Isn't it? And remember, the first pregnancy test we took, nothing. I mean, say, what is? 
and then we come so bam and take a next one couple weeks after nothing take a third one still nothing guys at this point you know say I start get frustrated because I start think all kind of something now. She tests it. I lay down on the bed and I have it in my hand. And I just start praying. I say, God, this is it. This is it. This is your time. But prove to me. Is it me? Prove to me now that you are here looking out for my. Trust me, guys. You're not even understand. I say, prove to me now. Is it me? Do it now. I said, this is what will heal that emptiness within me. Is it me? I just pray and the yeah, water start come and I say, oh, yeah. I'm going to it. And by the time she go in the bathroom and do it. Did you know what they test them normally? Say, some of the test them normally say, wait a couple of minutes. As with the first one, as she do it so I could have seen the double line. Just the same. And I feel just this just peace and this joy. And trust me. I say yes. Yes, this is it. And I just start thank God and I say thank you, Jesus. And I just start praying and I just start thank God. But then you know, right after that, 
the thought were coming on my head. Yo, this is just, this is just the first step. This is just the first stage. This is me, this is nothing. I may say, oh God, no. <clears throat> right up, I just start prayer, start prayer, start prayer, start prayer, right up. And coming closer now, closer and closer, maybe start go. Coming closer to the delivery time. We decide say when I go. Um, we did decide say when I go public again. We go for you this time. You see me and. Anyways, coming closer to delivery time. Pure negative thoughts. I coming on my head. Yo, the same thing I go happen. Like we did that more the first one. And. Yo, trust me. Be negative thinking. Oh, and by this time, we did already find out, say, yo, it was going to be a girl. Is me? But it kind of disappointed, because me always wanted a boy. Is me? Um, but me, I say, yeah. I just want to know, say, yo, the baby healthy and I'm a good. Is me? So, anyways, fast forward to the time when, the day when, um, we go in for deliver. It was a Monday, the eighteenth of November. Now we just celebrate my birthday like the Saturday, which was the sixteenth. Is me? And we know say oh, we'll get C section again. Guys, may I tell them I sit down on the bench out there, cause I couldn't go into the room. She was C-section, she up. I'm going to sit down on the bench with the guys. <laughs> and, yo, I'm going to start listening to the song. I'm um, going say, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, that is who you are. You are here. Guys, if it wasn't for YouTube and them copyright issues, I would have played the song, but trust me, the song was just ministering to me, minister. Yo, my tell her, like, when I was there, I did have some fears, some negative thoughts, but the song just took all that away, guys. And it was like, I just feel this peace, this comfort in me, knowing that everything was going to be okay. But then, I don't know if the doctor didn't forget me out there or what, but trust me, I don't think them take so long in the surgery. I'm sitting there for like about almost three hours, you know? If so, if, if, if so long, maybe maybe two hours and something. I'm sitting there. And I say, I wonder if there's something wrong, like some negative thoughts just start coming back in my mind. And I don't know if for some reason I stop playing the song. And whatever people stop playing the song. All kind of negative thinking because my mind occupy again um, with worshiping God. So the devil just flood my mind say, yo, is it me? All sort of things. And I say, shit. One day for the side, them not come call me because something go wrong and the baby not make it or something. And guys, I <laughs> saw so a nurse come and she said, if I don't get fit, it's my baby yet. So guys, I think my long waiting is finally over and Um, well, doctors, them tell me say the baby born and thing, but I'm not get to see the baby yet. Can't wait, trust me. Actually, sit down outside, just to wait for them to call me now. And when she said that, I feel the burden just lifted. <sighs> Such a relief. And I know then that everything
everything was good. And before me even going to the place, I just start giving God thanks. Thank you, Father God, for answering my prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just uh, saying, God, thank you, Jesus. And men are the type of person, guys, who you go see a ball out, Jesus, and hallelujah, and whatnot. It's me, but I was just giving God thanks in my heart, guys. I'm just... Just, just telling God thanks, just worshiping in my heart, and you know, just worshiping in. I'm going out. I'm going. Um, I see her. She did under one something. When I said I'm gonna her oxygen. But for some reason, me never, me never, me never have no form of negative thinking yet. I say. Probably something wrong why they have her under this or nothing. But they just see her, I couldn't see her face. She did wrap up in a one in a one um one green towel, one green something. So I could just barely see like ears or her face. I'm just a look on her and I was just so happy. I'm just a call people. <laughs> me, me, yo, I don't know who I call that day. I just start call people, I start call people. My supervisor are the first person I call. I mean, I talk about video calling and just start calling people, guys. I show them because I was just so happy. I just want to ex. I don't know. I don't know. So I just start calling people. You see me? And then the doctor him say, the nurse them say, I have to wait outside because. They must say I go do some checks or whatever, whatever. So I go back out there and just start playing about the same song. I just start worshipping God. I just start telling God thanks. You know, I just start calling people again and they my ask them. I say, yeah man, everything good with her. And, you know, she alright and all of this and all of that. And even though I never really ask no question to find out if everything good and what not, and I just start saying yes, she good and everything alright and she healthy and all of this. I was just so happy. <laughs> I know I'm happy like don't even know, yo. And I try to <laughs> you know, yo, it's a wonderful feeling. So so happy guys. And then, a couple of hours after, she done that is something from about maybe four hours. But at that point, no farm adult. You know, joy. I was just happy. No farm adult, no negative thinking, nothing. Never pop up. You see me, I'm just a, I'm just a praise God, I'm just a worship God, same way. And when we get four hours, for the first time. Trust me. The feeling. Beautiful feeling. And we did have a name for her. Um, my name is JC. Now our brother. His name was Jace. So well, we give her Jace here yeah, as a name. So that way, Jace will always be close to me. And I don't mean, I mean, I care what people say. <coughs> Guys, I don't mean, care what people say. I never want to forget him. Never. And he will always be my, <coughs> he will always be my son and 
that now nah, go change no matter what until the day me go in and in the grave you see me yeah so we name her jace here and when me look upon her when me hold her yeah. hey what's up hmm? just joy and peace and guys, ever since then, I just find myself, you know, just worshipping God more, praising more, praying more. So, Mama said this now. In the time when I did lose this, a lot of people are telling me say oh, I need to move on. Like a couple months after them are telling me I need to move on. I never want to hear that. Is me. That couldn't help me. So I get to find out that other people go through the same thing and people still are go through the same thing. And people will go through similar things. But let me just say this to you. Take your time to process your grief, your anger, and everything. But just find something to hold on to. No matter how hard it seems, no matter how low you get, and how far you feel, from God, just find one thing, just one thing, one thing to give you strength. Just when you find that one thing, you will get through. You will get through it. Because trust me, guys, what happened to me last year that. That could have that could have mad me. That could have made me go crazy. But I did find that song me. I mean that even didn't know. So that was what was keeping me. And my whole on to the song, even though I let go everything else and I was in the darkest place. Hold on to the song, and somehow, somehow the song keep me. Glory to God. When Marshall, big of yourself, thank you for making that song. I know it's it a hard, like, it a hard, 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 but trust me. Even when you know I hear nothing about God or you know I see God, just know that you have a plan. Just know the same of a plan. And sometimes, sometimes the way we, we choose for work, we never understand it. Because up to this day, I don't understand why Jesus had to die. But I just have to believe. That God had a plan. And even if I never get to find out what that plan is, still, I go hold it and know that God is in control. No matter what people say, no matter what me did think, so guys, no matter what you feel, and it not necessarily have to mean Losing a child or whatever, whatever your situation is right now, whatever your low moment is, just just find just find something to hold on to. Don't give up. Many people can't hold the pressure. Them take their own life. Some of them go crazy. But let me tell you this. Just find that one memory 
that song, that person, whatever works for you. And hold it close and never let it go. And just watch your blessing come true. Just watch your blessing come true. Because sometimes God put with you things. And sometimes we make promises to God where we not keep them. Because make I remember myself many times I make promises to God. And to be honest with myself, I never really keep those promises. And maybe what God put me to was his way of bringing me down and then emptying me and then bringing me back even stronger. And God, he gave me a daughter. I'm a new that I will love her with everything that I have. And I know that I will take the best care of her. I know that I will give her everything. <laughs> Trust me. No, I'm not much for say. Just stay strong. If you can, if you can't, remember one thing. Just find one thing for a lamp and never let it go. And that will keep you even through your worst. That will keep you. Just find that one thing. And that's my that's my story. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Guys, to be honest, there's not a day go by way. Like me no miss my son, like me no miss Jace. But I just have to tell myself that and God took him for a reason. Maybe what would have been the outcome if he was to live I couldn't handle. So maybe God saw it best to take him back and see so one year later he blessed me with a beautiful beautiful baby girl and that's something to give thanks for Big up to the people, big up to the staff, the Mayui. way. They treat me very, very good. The place clean. Yo, I don't know, I don't have no bad experience. Just big up to the, the UA hospital staff. You see me? I can't say the same for Jubilee. Hush, but I don't have nothing bad to say. Even though they were. Well, let me not go there. But just big up to the UA staff. That's all I'm going to say. Alright guys, one love.